I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface, the church in the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. Hey guys, welcome back to Metro Last Light. As for me, I started life anew. Left Kuznetsky most. This chapter is called Regina. Subverted the place. It's a little long, maybe about 15 20 minutes. Sending a lot of, to camps, a lot of enemies to kill. Them. All because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole red line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. <laughs> At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees, but hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard. When I first played this game, I played on Ranger Hardcore, so I didn't know what the button prompts and stuff right. were, Start the engine. where they were, and I didn't, I pressed like every big button on the keyboard like 10 times so to try to figure out how to perfect. start the engine on this but thing, and I couldn't figure it out, no so I had to, to go on YouTube and watch and a, 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 a playthrough that was um, not on Ranger Hardcore, and find out it was a space bar. I guess I didn't press the space R, but I just thought it was funny. There's gonna be a lot of optional areas in this uh, level, kind of like this. It's just a pain in the ass because you have to keep getting on and off of the the train car thing. Try, I'm gonna do all the optional stuff. That's just the way I play. I like to do everything. Some people on this type of run through the game might choose to do, you know, the minimal amount of stuff just to get through the game. And sections like this, there's two of them here. When I first played this game, I waited and I tried to kill every single one of these spider bugs. And it took a long time. But come to find out, you can pretty much just run to where you can turn the lights on. And then once you do, it'll kill a bunch of them and you can go around and collect anything that's left. Because there's a couple of places where there's... There's ammo and stuff on the ground. I think there's one other place, but I'm not going to go back and look. I always remember when you're on this to press shift. Do you see how the, the RPMs go up? If you let go of shift, it goes to 4,000. But if you press it, it'll go to 5, and you'll actually go faster. playing this game, up until this point I played using only the knife, or I tried my best to use only the knife up to this point. 
a little bit later on is where I decided to just say the hell with it and just play the game with guns and stuff. Because it became very tedious and difficult. I'll, sh I'll tell you what point it was a little bit later. <laughs> Four previous times I played this through to try to get the ranger achievement I was you can flip these bugs over with um, the light and then um, you can do the stealth knife stealth knife takedown on them which you go up and press V and that's what I did and I was doing um, and then I kind of figured out that you can't do that because it fails the achievement This room is required though, you have to turn this power on so that you can open the, the gate. So whenever you come to these crossroads, most of the time you want to change the direction and go either where there's something blocked off or the opposite side of where it wants you to go because there's normally a secret area. you go in here you want to turn around because there's going to be a watchman This is a section coming up that I don't like very much. It's not difficult, it's just... can be annoying, I guess. Not really annoying, just... I don't know. There's a section coming up where I stop using the knife. And that kind of pisses me off. Because I honestly don't think that you can beat this game with only the knife. Unlike Metro 2033, where save for one or two levels where you had to use a gun for a few key parts, I was able to complete with using only the knife, and I was expecting to be able to do the same thing in this game, but I mean, the bosses that come up. I don't think you can use just the knife to kill him. I may be wrong, maybe somebody's done it, but I highly doubt it. All the bosses, there's two stages of them. 
Except, well, no, there's there's not two stages of the bear, but there's two stages for the um, the big mama and the other one. I don't remember what the other one is. Or what it's called? Um, basically the big shrimp looking thing, but you can run past that first part with him and, and the first part with the big mama, you don't have to do anything, you just have to wait for him, or her, or him, whatever, to break down the pillars, and then he'll move, she'll move on to the next, um, area. One of the creepiest rooms in the game, at least to me, coming up right here. It's just all the the noise. Not so much what you can see. This is a section where I decided to use guns. I tried this over and over and over again and I just had problems. Even if you kill this guy that r is running, he'll still appear, that guy will still be there. There are going to be two more. I tried running away and tried killing them. It's just, you know, in Metro 2033, you could kill pretty much any enemy except the librarians and the demons with one knife, one throwing knife. Not so in this game. Most mutants take two knives, unless you get a headshot. I think if you get a headshot, it's one one knife to kill him, but you know there's a big difference. It may seem like oh, well, it's just another knife, but and you know it's like one bullet, one bullet to the head kills him, but a throwing knife, which does more damage than this, doesn't kill them. It kills all the human enemies in one hit if they're unaware of you. And it, it will kill the mutants in one hit too if they're unaware of you, but I don't know. They changed it and I'm not very fond of the way it is now. And the way the knife is in this, your, your regular like um, combat knife, you have to be very, very close to an enemy in order to, um, in order to actually hit them. Basically, you have to be close enough for them 
into putting a pretty field apart. And that's what happens if you try to kill him with a knife. This is the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.